Hello everyone, I'm Federico Bartolomucci, a researcher from Politecnico di Milano, and today I will introduce to you the research I'm developing together with my colleagues Edoardo Ramalli and Valeria Maria Albano. We are all researchers from Politecnico and uh, we are keen to discuss our research with you. The submission number of our uh, research is 1676. Our research is called Data Governance in Data Altruism Archetypes Definition. We started from the acknowledgement that the momentum surrounding the use of big data for public good has developed over uh, the past few years, resulting in a proliferation of initiatives from public, private, and third sector organizations. In particular, what we have understood is that data may help us in different ways as such, improving situational awareness, improving our response capacity to emergency conditions, or helping us in improving our ability to uh, respond to societal challenges by enhancing a better decision-making, helping us in predicting and forecasting social, economic, and environmental changes, or assessing the impact of our intervention. The European Commission has, in the last years, acted on this direction towards different regulations. In particular, the Data Governance Act and the Data Act are interesting since they aim to foster the data sharing among different sectors, public, private and social sectors. The Data Governance Act introduces, interestingly, the data altruism organization concept. The data altruism organization is a qualification that can be obtained by non-profit and legally independent entities, which may offer three different kinds of services, data collection and storage, data processing, and services that enable third parties to process data collected from data holders or subjects. Although this is a new concept that has been introduced by the Data Governance Act, it resembles concepts that have been already put in practice and studied by literature in recent years. In, particularly, in particular, data altruism organizations are supposed to act in data sharing collaborative environments. May these be data ecosystems, data collaboratives, data spaces, or data cooperatives and they're supposed to act as data intermediaries. Uh, literature has used different types of concepts or different terms to refer to entities uh, playing this role in data sharing collaborative environments. In particular, we have seen uh, literature using terms like trusted data intermediary, data ecosystem convener, or data stewards. Independently from the term we use to refer to this type of organization, they, uh, they are supposed to work as intermediary in collaborative settings, giving these collaborative settings what has been defined an intermediary-based configuration. Respect to the intermediary-based configuration data configured data sharing ecosystem, Susha and colleagues identified uh, different roles that the intermediary can play. In particular, uh, an intermediary can offer services related to connecting different actors, can play the role of mediating the interests and uh, the expectation of these actors, can play what has been called a stimulating role a learning catalyst role and an infrastructure provision role. Starting from this study by Susha and colleague and matching this study with the regulation, so with the Data Governance Act and with other studies uh, on these uh, concepts, we have deductively defined three different types of data altruism organizations. In particular, we have identified these three types of archetypes based on the services and the role that may play inside collaborative data sharing ecosystems. 
We have identified uh, first the facilitator role, meaning a data altruism organization offering services of mediation, stimulation, and uh, learning catalyst. Then we have identified the infrastructure provisioner role, meaning a data altruism organization that, uh, respect to the facilitator, also provides the data exchange infrastructure. Finally, the most complex uh, archetype we have identified is what we call the data knowledge center, meaning a data altruism organization that, to the previous two roles, adds also the provision of data stewardship and data analysis services. With these three archetypes in mind, we started to study possible governance configurations of different data altruism organization archetypes. Before moving to uh, the heart of our research, let me say what we mean by governance. Governance in data collaborative ecosystem has been defined as the process and structures of decision making and management that engage people constructively in data-driven activities across the boundaries of public agencies, level of government, and or the public, private, and civic sphere for a societal purpose that could not otherwise be accomplished. This definition, as many other, has a predominantly organizational perspective on the governance of data uh, ecosystem and data intermediaries. What we would like to do instead is to combine the, this organizational perspective with the more technological perspective often adopted by scholars coming from the information system uh, stream of research. What we do, uh, therefore, is to adopt, adopt a socio-technical perspective, considering organizational factor and technological factors as complementary elements contributing to the definition of the governance archetype of a data intermediary. With this lens in mind, we can put forward our research question in the form of how collaborative governance aspect and data governance aspects interact in different data altruism organizations archetypes. What we did uh, uh, as a first step of our uh, analysis is to review literature in search of key governance dimensions, both uh, organizational governance dimensions and data governance dimensions. Through this literature review, we have identified a set of eight uh, organizational governance dimensions and nine data governance uh, dimensions that are fundamental to define the governance configuration of a data altruism organization. Then with this, uh, once we had identified this dimension, we proceeded with the development of a multiple case study uh, based research. We have uh, selected our case studies based on a theoretical sampling approach, meaning that so far we have developed three case studies with three cases that are still not recognized as data altruism organization, but that according to our analysis may be recognized as such and may uh, require this uh, recognition. These three, these three uh, cases also may be associated to the three uh, archetypes that we have identified from literature. We are, uh, we have therefore developed uh, interviews and so develop a primary data collection uh, approach with these three cases. Impact deal uh, in the hypothesis that it can be uh, considered a data altruism organization uh, in, inside the archetype, inside the facilitator archetype, E015 as an infrastructure provided uh, archetype, and Science PEM as an example of a data knowledge center archetype. What we did uh, with this, uh, was through the interviews, is exploring the different configurations that these data altruism organization have adopted uh, along the different dimensions of analysis. In particular, we focus our attention over the relations and the reciprocal 
influences between organizational dimensions and data governance uh, dimensions. What we expect to find is the existence, and I will show you in a moment preliminary results, the existence of bilateral relations, monolateral relations, meaning relations that goes from the organizational dimension to the technological ones, and vice versa, uh, relations that goes from the data governance or technological dimension to the organizational one. Uh, what we would like to do is to perform uh, three uh, to perform uh, three levels of analysis. The first level of analysis is understanding how these uh, dimensions, so the organizational and technological dimension, are related inside data altruism organization governance schemas. For instance, what emerged from preliminary analysis is that there are multiple multilateral uh, influences. And so uh, this confirm our approach of looking at governance as a socio-technical construct. The second level of analysis is, uh, is, the, uh, is um, or comprises analyzing the influence that a single organizational or technological dimension may have on the other macro dimension. For instance, here you see that preliminary results show that competences have high influence or are strongly related to the technological governance uh, configuration. The third level of analysis is uh, the one identifying weak or strong relations uh, among single factors based on the frequency of occurrences in the cases we are uh, analyzing. Further development of our research are, first of all, we would like to collect other uh, data and so develop additional interviews. Secondly, what we have not done so far and we would like to develop is a cross-case analysis based on the different data altruism organization archetypes, identifying differences among the different archetypes in terms of governance configurations and relations between the organization and the technological factor. And finally, we are exploring new ways of analyzing our data. And so different qualitative analysis methodologies that can help us in obtaining new uh, insights. Uh, what we would like to discuss during the conference in London is, first of all, which criticalities you see in our approach and in our studies. Secondly, which type of data analysis do you think could be more effective uh, in order to analyze our data? And finally, how could we improve the practical implication of our study? I thank you for your attention. I hope you will. Uh, you would like to discuss this uh, with us in London. We are keen to listen for your opinion and hope to see you soon. Thanks.